I am doing my prep for, you know, we call it vacation Olympics, vacation prep. You know how it is to be a girl. You're getting ready to go. You have so many things that need to be done as far as nails, hair, lashes, eyebrows. I think I'm going to do my lashes and my own eyebrows. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot going on. So, I am going on a 10-day trip with my program, my MBA program. And we are going to Barcelona, Spain, Lisbon, Portugal, and Marrakesh, Morocco. So I want to take you guys along on the trip. I'm going to show a little bit of the vacation prep, I guess. You know, getting my hair done and leading up to it. And then I believe this this will be a three-part series where I'm in Barcelona, then Lisbon, and then Morocco. And I'll take you along for those for those particular trips. I'll split it up probably in three parts. So I'm heading to go get my hair done. My hair is in four plaits. Um, I wash and blow dry my hair. I'm going to get a sew in. I know most people would, would be like, dang, why don't you get, um, why don't you get braids? But I, I'm gonna be transparent with y'all. I'm trying to grow back my edges and the braids, like my hair is naturally like um, finer like just naturally so having the braids on my hair and just the tugging especially on the edges it's just not really that healthy so i'm going to do a sew in which can leave my edges out i could show it some more attention and hopefully lead to uh you know growing it fuller and becoming you know more fuller in my edges or whatever so anyway so that's that so that's why i'm getting a sew in okay so i'm back sorry about that So yeah, the program is really cool because, um, like I said, I go to Florida International, and um, of course, being that international is their name, they offer, they offer, give the opportunity to study abroad. But because my program is a fast track program, I um, we we get we don't go for a full semester; we go for uh, ten days. So again, I'm going to um, Barcelona, Spain. Lisbon, Portugal, and um, Marrakesh, Morocco, and all, and then and in all three of those destinations, we visit healthcare centers. So we're supposed to go to the World Health Organization. We're also supposed to do, um, I believe it's like AstraZeneca and some big, some other big pharma places, healthcare startups. We're gonna visit hospitals, clinics, so we get to see healthcare outside of the U.S. and how it's managed. Um, as a portion of our program. So I think that that is so cool, which is why I opted to do it because number one, I love to travel. And number two, like I love a trip where I just got to show up. And number three, um, I think, I mean, I think it's an invaluable experience to be able to get a look into how the healthcare systems are ran in different countries. So just for perspective, cause I know we all, I'm not, let me not say we all, but you know, it's believed that, you know, as in the U.S., we are the best in everything, but actually, U.S. spends the most money in healthcare, period, and has the worst outcomes of all the, you know, the Western Hemisphere. So, we spend the most money, and we have the worst outcomes, and in regards to um, maternal and fetal survival rate, age, we don't, we don't, we are lower than the World Health Organization. The Asian World Health Organization age, um, like the lifespan, and so yeah, so and, and in regards to Spain, I believe Spain is like number seven out of like number seven. We're we rank 35, US is 35, Spain is seven, and I think like um, Portugal is like 17 or something like that, 12 or 17, I can't remember, but in the teens. So we're, like I said, in the Western Hemisphere, we have the worst outcomes and we spend the most money on healthcare. So put that one in your pipe and smoke it. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this is, how this trip is gonna play out. Gabs is going, so um, that's gonna be fun. We have another friend, or it's a bunch, of, it's a few people from our cohort. And um, it's interesting because like, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's because of school and work. Like I have not been able to really prepare myself. So I feel like my outfits aren't there. Like I want them to be, cause you know, I be wanting to be fly. So that's why I didn't do a haul. But you know, we'll see. We just gonna make it do what it do because I'm trying to not over consume too. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of stuff. So I'm just in like this different type of place trying to just 
have a find a nice equilibrium of being myself like dressing and all that stuff but not over consuming because i feel like i'd be over consuming so anyways i'm gonna take you to go get my hair done um and yeah see y'all soon sorry y'all i forgot to record but this is the finished look she slayed as per usual like i do feel okay like i needed a little bit more hair like it ain't it's kind of but maybe it's cool like this. But anyways, this is how the look, the look. This is the look that I have. So we headed to Barcelona. Oh God, we're up five. Hey, Gabs. Hey, Marsha. This is our cohort. Wait. Ah! <laughs> we are headed to Barcelona. I'm going to start leg of our trip. We touched down in Barcelona, honey. We hit the streets running, and our first stop was Sagrada Familia, which is a basilica, a church that has been under construction since the 1800s. Its architecture design is um, from the mind of Antoni Antoni Gaudi, who is known is very is a very popular architect. People come from all around the world just to see this church. Behind those two other columns. You can see a group of people sitting in a circle. You can imagine them, and some of them are not uh, visible. The Last Supper, exactly. Just beside the door, left of the door, the green door, you can see the kiss of Judas. We hardly see Judas, he's behind, but we see his arms wrapped around Jesus. And then on the other side is Peter. Peter denied three times Jesus during the night and he's often represented this way, crying and a bit And then some stations of the cross on the upper part and leading to the crucifixion. From Sagrada Familia, we went to a place called Pablo Español de Barcelona and basically it's like a historic a replica of a historic um, region in Spain and there we went to a flamenco show. Hey Christian, hey guys. Y'all having fun? Enjoying Barcelona? And of course, we wouldn't be the cool kids if we didn't hang out in Barcelona to see what the nightlife has to offer. So we did a bit of bar hopping, um, which was pretty cool. We ended up at the number this bar that was voted number four in the world of the top 50 bars. It was called Paradiso, and it was okay. I mean, it was a cool experience, but um, and the drinks were okay, pricey, the best in the world. I really don't know what they judged that on. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hey guys. Get ready with us to go on a hungover hike with the star of the show. Ow. Okay guys, so we headed to Montserrat on day two and it was a beautiful hike and also what's interesting about this place and it has a church or a cathedral that hosts or holds a statue of a ancient black Madonna and a black baby Jesus, which was so, so, so interesting to me. And people come from all over the world to see these statues. And if you are a Cheetah Girls fan, this is the place, Park Goel, where they filmed the Cheetah Girls. We tried to do our rendition, epic fail. <laughs> so, of course, we could not come to Barcelona and not really see what the beach had to offer. So we ended up beachside. We intended on going to a pool party at the W, but it did not work out. We got there late and the line was crazy long. So we ended up just strolling along the boardwalk trying to figure out exactly what the beach side had to offer and it was very cool a very cool experience hey marcia 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 do you like when people do that or is that annoying no, I love it because guess what? What? You'll never forget my name. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> You guys, so it is the next day and it's time to get down to business. And our first stop on our healthcare part of the trip is to Hospital de la Santa Cruz y San Paul, which is a hospital that is known to be a city within the city. This hospital was built up in the 1400s and was in commission until about maybe, um, I think it was definitely in the 2000s, like prior, a little bit before the pandemic was when they made its full transition to the new hospital. So it was really cool to see they have a museum there. They also have a Barcelona Health Hub, which is a um a a or a nonprofit that connects digital people within a digital health space. Wow. People care more for company than they did for privacy. So to see what new stuff they have in there and try to bring it home as soon as possible. What is so cool about this location is that um, when you go to the rooftop of some of these buildings, you have an absolute be beautiful panoramic view of Barcelona. And you also have a beautiful view of um, Sagrada La Familia, or Sagrada Familia. <laughs> I always mess the name up, but you get an absolute beautiful view of the place. So we went to lunch, we had lunch together with each other. And then from there, we went to a another side of town in Barcelona where they have this like digital health, one of those was through EIT Health. Can you even come to Europe without shopping? Like we were on our way to Zara and we found this beautiful market and oh my gosh, this fruit and all the produce and the meats there look so fresh. And let me tell you one thing about Barcelona, those olives hit in. I have not had a better olive than the olives that I've had in Barcelona. Amazing olives, for real. If you know, you know. That night we all decided to have dinner. You guys, it was a really bu good bunch of people because we always wanted to eat dinner or at least a meal together in every city multiple times. So um, one of the uh, young ladies recommended this place and I'm gonna tell you the food was me. I'm not gonna even lie, I'm not gonna hold you. Sorry, girl, but the food was like maybe like a five out of 10 or a six out of 10 and um, the service was trash. But it was good to commune with our people in our, um, on our trip with us, so yeah. One thing about Barcelona is they have the views. Like all over the city from different rooftops, you can catch a wonderful view. We did get to visit Braun, but we were not able to record, so sorry guys. But after that, we went to this village that was near Braun's factory. It was a beautiful restaurant. Of course, as you can see, 
football is a major thing, aka soccer. So it was really cool to be in a local restaurant, eat some local food, and just enjoy the scenery. Okay, hey guys, so I have not had a chance to really get on here and talk because we've been moving so fast. But I just arrived in Lisbon from Barcelona. We had a totally full day, but I wanted to get on here and um, kind of close out the Barcelona vlog. So Barcelona, I really, really enjoyed, I enjoyed Barcelona. It's a tad bit different. Um, it's European. Barcelona does not sleep. It's like a New York, but different. Um, I feel like Barcelona is a place you can go. Nobody's really concerned about you and what you do. Um, there's good shopping there and you can just live your life, but there are like kind of like microaggressive, small microaggressions that you can face as like a dark, a black person in Barcelona, I feel like, because baby, we could not get a taxi in Barcelona. Like every time when I was with a bunch of black people, we couldn't get a taxi, but like if we would have our Spanish classmates or like a Spanish door person, um, hail us a taxi they we got a taxi so i don't know what's that about but barcelona is cool um i mean i definitely recommend going see it going to see it uh what did i enjoy the most about barcelona what did i like the most about it their zara was really good that's what i like the most like i like zara um the thing i like least about it it's a lot of walking I mean, a lot of walking. If you can't walk a lot, Barcelona might not be your tea. I like Montserrat. I like visiting that. That was beautiful. So it's like cool things you can do there. But it's like, is it a place that I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to absolutely, absolutely move to Barcelona? The answer would be no. But I'd visit. So I hope this vlog was very interesting and helpful. Drop me a comment. Like, comment, subscribe. You already know the tea, but most of all, I love you. But Jesus, he loves you so much more. God bless you.